Yo, what's up? 20s Van Life, week five. Yeah. <laughs> so, finally getting around to recording this, to documenting week five. As I stated in a previous video, there may be a, a delay, a slight delay. This happens to be like a, a two month delay <laughs> on the week five video, but eventually I'll get all the way caught up. It may take me all the way to the end of the year, but either way, I do plan on doing a weekly recap video. And week five was basically covered the time period of 26 May through 02 June 2023, 02 June, whatever you prefer. And it started off in San Antonio. I made it to my buddy Miguel's house, met him at the San Francisco Summit in December of 2022, San Francisco Ronin Man Summit, which was an awesome time. Separate video on that, but uh, another topic for another day. But either way, hung out with Miguel that weekend. That happened to be Memorial Day weekend. And on Friday, we we just chilled basically, sat, sat at his house. He's got a really nice place. Sat by the fire pit, had a few beers, just kind of chilled. I had been driving most of the day Friday, so wasn't nothing too crazy planned. The next day, Saturday, we went out to Palmetto State Park, really nice park there in South Central Texas. Did a hike on Saturday. No, it wasn't too aggressive, but I think we ended up doing about about five miles, something like that. You know, and it was, I would say, it was medium difficulty. And after we finished the hike. We drove out to Shiner, Texas, and stopped by the the Shiner Brewery. The, I believe it's the K Spetzel Brewery. I may not be pronouncing that correctly. I should know that as much beer as I drink. Which, by the way, today right now I'm drinking a Modelo Chelada Lime and Salt. Pretty good beer if you like this this style. I, I like it, but to each their own. But ah, it's kind of refreshing on a summer day like today, hot, humid summer day here in the Ozarks. Anyway, so we went to the brewery Saturday afternoon, and that was a good time. They, they gave us tokens at, as part of the brewery tour, and you can you can actually get pretty pretty trashed just on the, the small amount or buzzed, whatever you, your your preferred word is for alcohol consumption. <laughs> the effects of alcohol consumption and just with the small amount of tokens that they give you you can get um, fairly ripped and that was a excellent time it was great tour touring the brewery we got a tour of it there was a uh, music a lot lots there's actually a pretty family friendly event there was people there were a bunch of their kids hanging out uh, lots of young people it, that, I mean pretty good mix of people of all ages but I was I was most surprised by the amount of uh, children there and but it was all good I mean they weren't drinking causing any problems it was a uh, again surprisingly family friendly event toured the brewery that was pretty cool got to see the brew house and and how they manufacture the, the beer brew the beer um, they got kind of like uh, some nice I don't know what, what would you call them Oh, mascot type stuff. They had a truck in there that was pretty neat, an old old Ford, um, or maybe it was a Chevy. But it was an old American truck that was uh, up in there that had been customized by a well-known hot rodder, which slips my mind at the moment. Again, my poor note taking. They had a Ram's head that was made out of beer bottles, lots of cool shit in there. It was it was really interesting. The the tour and the drive to the brewery was, was beautiful. The which by the way, the most of that time I was in Texas from the drive from Dallas to San Antonio and then driving to the Shiner Brewery. It's 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 just beautiful country. Really really I, I recommend if, if you take that drive to take the back roads. It's uh it'll be worth your while. But, um, yeah, I did the hike on Saturday, the brewery on Saturday afternoon, 
went back to Miguel's, chilled out for the evening after that, and then we went to Guadalupe State Park on Sunday. That one, that was really cool. We did a, a hike there and hiked down to the river and went swimming for about an hour. That was pretty cool. Just chilled out, saw a couple snakes on the river. <laughs> Didn't get bit, thankfully. Um, not not too, it was, you know, fairly close, but the snake didn't want no piece of us. So it took its ass, happy ass on, and uh, we all went our separate ways. But um, after that, went back to Miguel's after hiking on Sunday again, our second hike in two days, hiking and swimming. Did, a, did, did some barbecue, fired at the barbecue pit, had a nice barbecue dinner, and then on Monday, went down to the world famous San Antonio River Walk. That was, that was cool. I hadn't been there in a long time, but it was, I guess because it was a holiday, because it was Memorial Day. Crowds were light. It, it, was, it was fairly warm out. It wasn't too hot at that point. I mean, this was late May. It wasn't like it is, it has been the last couple months, you know, like uh, July, June, July temperatures in Texas, but it was, um, you know, it was low, mid 90s, something like that. And we were down there at the Riverwalk. I had been there in 1995, but that was the last time I had been in San Antonio. And I, I, I did go downtown the first time I was there. And some of the stuff looked familiar, the, the mall looked familiar, but it kind of jogged a couple memories on that. But uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was cool. It was cool just going for a walk downtown San Antonio. We got a few miles in down there too. There was a, the, uh, we stopped on the way back once we got back to where the car was parked, had a couple beers, and yeah, it was kind of chilled out. Then went back to Miguel's house again Monday night, hung out with his roommate, and we did some barbecuing, made some Summit Burgers. That Summit Burger, that, that, Ronan and the crew created the recipe for that. I cooked some of them up and just had a nice little barbecue on Memorial Day. And that was uh, pretty much it for San Antonio, at least the last full day. I left San Antonio on Tuesday, headed back towards Dallas, and hung out in Dallas on Tuesday and Wednesday. Dallas, Fort Worth area, more of the Fort Worth, Keller type, Texas area. Went to Manny G's both nights. I had a few drinks. Did my laundry out there too during Tuesday. I, I don't remember exactly what day, if it was Tuesday or Wednesday, but during the day did my laundry. And this fucking laundry facility is, is some was some straight bullshit. I'll I'll probably put the the card in my in the thumbnail. <laughs> but yeah, it, it was. I may put the card in the thumbnail, or I I'll uh, attach it somewhere in this video if I can. But. Yeah, that was some bullshit. They had this system where you had to buy a prepaid card and then put money on the card instead of just directly putting money into the washing machine. It was fucked up. It's the only place, well, only laundromat that I've been to like that that uses that type of system in the entire country that I've and Canada too that I've I've been traveling. But I, whatever, that was their deal, and it was it was a rip off. But what do you do? You know, beggars can't be choosers, so to speak. But yeah, after that, um, stayed stay in Dallas Tuesday, Wednesday, like I said, did laundry, and then Thursday, hung out with my buddy TJ and a couple of his friends at the bar. After that, I went to, I was going to be heading back towards northwest Arkansas, so to finish out the week, week five, and drove up into Oklahoma and went to Lake Eufalia, which is a state park and stayed camped out there on the, on the lakefront Thursday and Friday night. It was pretty nice, went swimming, it was hot, but uh, made it through that. Had a training meeting with my unit on Thursday night, and that was pretty much it. Just kind of chilled out the rest of the week and camping, camping in Oklahoma. And, which, by the way, if you go to ever are in the area and you want to camp at Lake Eufalia, the campsite Delta Foxtrot Tango 15, DFT 15, it's a pretty nice spot, secluded if you like to get away from the, the crowds and kind of be away from all the, all the noise. 
at least with the time I was there. So, pretty nice park, pretty nice lake, pretty nice park. And I'll, if I get a chance, I'll go back. But, but yeah, and that's just kind of led on into the weekend and week six, which if I have my notes here, I'm, I'm, not, I'm cheating. I'm getting on my cheat sheet. Let's see, week six. Week six led me back into the Ozarks, back into southwestern Missouri, northwest Arkansas, and did some camping. But that's for a later video. That's for the week six video where I go back to the Ozarks. So anyway, that's week five. San Antonio, Dallas, Oklahoma. Hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, that's fine too. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Like, subscribe, unsubscribe. Either way, it's all good. All right, week five, 20s van life. Talk to you later. Take care. 20 out.